This is the uh, Burton Step On 2021-2022 Heel Play Issue Update. Um, you guys commented a lot about how to fix the Heel Play Issue and I followed it and this is the update. But first of all, I uh, want to say thank you for watching the video and you guys commented a lot. Appreciate it. I'll sh um, now I'll show you um, the appearance of the board and the binding this is after seven days of using the board for at least six to eight hours a day uh, as you can see <clears throat> there is some marks on our board I tried to remove it but uh, I can't um, wasn't able to um, there's also some I don't know if you can see it chip in there chips in the board um, there's a bunch of chips as well from the actual binding I don't know this probably I crashed a lot when I was using this um, other than that it's just like you know stains from I guess from the boots and scratches and stuff but other than that it's pretty much the same thing um, even if I turn it the other way there's a bunch of I don't know if you can see it but you'll see I I, I didn't use it in rails or anything. This is just part of the New Jersey where I'm from. It's always icy. There's no such thing as pow day. So it's always like you're snowboarding on hills, like chunks of ice balls. And you can see there's a lot of scratch. This is not from a stone or a rock or, or any metal. This is just regular ice. Um, yeah, it's just like marks here and there, some scratches there. Um, other than that, the board still looks good. And I like it, the fix. <clears throat> so the fix that I did that you guys have um, mentioned before is I was writing on uh, forward lean f2 and um, I don't know if you can see it but I put it in in f3 both of them and I'd say that forward lean helps a lot making the uh, the boot more stable because the angle of the the binding, forward lean binding to the boot is more acute compared to if it was just F2 or zero or F1. It's not much, probably just like, I don't know. If you look into the screws, I was like three to four threads. I didn't think that it would help a lot, but it did, uh, especially doing um, heel turns connecting it to the toe turns it just there's a big difference between f2 and f3 and i just want to say thank you guys for teaching me that um now i was now after six to seven days of um riding it i would say the third day i already got it i was able to do you know carving again which was my complaint before i can't it's just so hard to do turns uh, toe turns, but now I can do carving again and uh, 
I was now I got that confidence to do a switch. Now I'm trying to ride regular. I'm I'm goofy, so now I'm trying to ride regular. Uh, I'll show you some clips of our ride. This is only it's like two and a half minute clip, so you at least you can see how I kind of ride. Again, I'm a beginner, so be gentle. All right. All right, guys, let's go. So that was a short clip about our ride. I wasn't able to take a video of all of our runs because I only got it from my phone. I don't have a GoPro or Insta360, shout out. Um, a lot of people from the previous video asked, check your base plate. What you know level is your base plate on? I got it from a store, they set it up for me because I really don't know how to set up given it's my first board and binding. But uh, I don't know if you could see it, but they put it on, I guess that's 8.5, but they put it on, I guess nine. They put it one notch longer. I just wanna make sure if, should I put it one notch back on 8.5 because I am wearing eight. 0.5 boot um, Let me know guys. How do you guys use the base plate because if this would help me to be a, a beginner proof setup step on That would be great. I don't know if I have to put it back to 8.5 or just leave it like that. So Let me know guys comment it down below because you guys are such a big help with this um, other than that, I just want to Thank you for all of you guys who were watching the videos, giving like and commenting on it. 
I reading all of the comments and it helps me a lot and it just gives me more motivation to learn this setup. Again, thank you for watching. Peace.